Merci. Bonjour à toutes, à tous. Euh, Aujourd'hui, je vais parler anglais parce que je pense qu'il y a beaucoup de journalistes qui parlent anglais aussi. C'est mieux aussi pour Lyon comprendre l'anglais. Uh, I'm very happy and very proud to present Lyon Messi as Paris Saint Germain player. And this is amazing and historic day for the club, for the historic day for the club, for the football world. And it is a fantastic moment for us. Everybody knows Leo. He's the only football player who won six times Ballon d'Or. And with Leo, he makes the football magic, beautiful, and he's a winner. It will be very exciting for our supporters and the fans and worldwide. It is honestly today, I mean, amazing what we try to achieve, Leo, John Claude, the club, the fans. And I remember when the first day we started, Leo, first day we started here the club. Ten years ago, there were people said what they're going to do on their club, what they're going to do on their project. And we have big ambition, high ambition project, a football project. And we are very proud where we are today, thanks to everybody. And there's no secret in this agreement with the best player in the world, Leo. There was a great desire between both sides to make this happen. And Leo, I would like to thank Leo, your wife, father, Jorge, and your team for the fantastic job you've done and you make it happen. I don't forget also my team, our sport director, Leo, and in the relation that we have, a lot of people they don't know, but I can say it now, I'm very proud of you. You're doing, honestly, I'm talking from my deep of heart. I don't have anything here in my, in my speech, but you're doing a fantastic job for the club <coughs> and for the supporter. <coughs> And for, for, for the history of the club, Jean-Claude, thank you very much. You've been here also for long. And all the people really working behind the scenes, communication, John Marcel, everybody, honestly, I don't want to forget anyone. Also, <clears throat> I would like to thank also our commercial partner. And I'm very grateful to them who believe in our project from day one. And... We told them we're never going to let them down because we know where we're going. And today, that's an amazing, again, moment for the history of the club. But still, we didn't win anything. This is just the start, and the hard work will start now. And in the pitch, first fall in the pitch, Leo. Of course, also out of the pitch, but the most important in the football. We have someone here next to me. He won a lot of trophies, and I'm sure he's going to bring us a lot of trophies to the club with his teammates. And we have fantastic squad today. We don't forget, we have best players also in the world. An amazing coach today also, and one of the best in the world. And for me, he's the best, and with his staff. So thanks to everybody, and I don't want to take long. I will leave the speech for Leo, but officially, I would like Leo to welcome you to Paris Saint-Germain family and, and your family. And I promise I can see your kids. They're very happy in Paris. They've told me already they're one of their favorite, if not their favorite city, for them it's Paris. Thank you very much and you will be happy. Thank you. Good morning. First of all, I want to thank the President for his words. I'm very happy. You all know how was my exit from Barcelona. It's been a very hard moment. 
after so many years. It was a difficult change after so many time. But the moment I arrived here, I felt very happy. And I really want to begin the training sessions. I really want it to be quick. I'm really enjoying my time in Paris since the first minutes. My family, my people. But really, really, my only uh, will now is to begin the training sessions. I want to work with the staff and with my teammates and begin this new moment of my life. I really want to thank the president and Leonardo and the whole club for the way they received me since the first day after the press release in Barcelona. And they really were quick in the negotiations and it's been quite easy actually. It was a very tricky situation and they really solved problems. It was not easy and they did it well. So really thank you for that. I repeat, but I'm very happy to be here and uh, I'm, I have this will to play. I'm really impatient. I still want to play. I still want to win as I wanted at the first moment of my career. And with this club, the staff, I think this club is really ready to fight for all the trophies. This is my goal. I want to keep growing, keep winning titles, and that's why I come here to this club. I hope we can make it happen. I really want to thank Paris, and it's been all crazy. My arrival, it was a surprise. So very, thank you again for the way they received me and I'm sure I'm going to enjoy the time with this team and we are going to fight for the aim of the club. I really want to begin now and thanks again to the president, to Leonardo and thanks PSG and thank you for having me here and I want to begin now. Thank you. Let's go through some questions and answers. Good evening, Li Lionel. Hola. AFP, how do you feel playing alongside Messi and Mbappe? Uh, it's really crazy and I'm really happy about that. Sharing the day-to-day -day life with them, with all the, the squad. Uh, really, there are some transfers, amazing transfers. So the team is incredible. And I really want to train and compete now because I'm going, I'm going to be playing with the best players. It's very nice. It's an incredible experience to be able to enjoy this Hi, Leo uh, from Le Parisien. Welcome to Paris. When do you think you will be able to play your first minutes in the French championship? Actually, I don't know. I, I was on holidays and it's very new. So I, I spoke yesterday with, I spoke yesterday with the technical staff. So maybe I need a pre-season myself. I'm going to begin to train and work, and I hope I can play as soon as I can. I really want to, but I can't answer exactly to your question. When I feel it, when the staff is, thinks I'm OK, well, then I'm, I'll be ready and willing to play. Good morning, Leo, for the newspaper L'Equipe. You said you were very sad about leaving Barca and the joy uh, 
about arriving here in PSG. So today, what's the strongest feeling? The joy, the sadness, everything that happened to me this last week has been very strange. It, it's been hard. It's been quick. It's been emotional. I can't forget what I lived and experienced in Barcelona, but I really, really feel impatient and happy about this new life at sport level and with my family as well. I'm very happy. This whole week I've been going through up and downs, but we are processing all of this every day, little by little. Every day we are processing. Hi, Leo, Al Jazeera, presidents. We know that here it's Paris, and we know that the dream of Paris is dreaming bigger every day. What are the limits of this? Leo, welcome. You've seen that the people from Paris have been waiting for you for three days. Some fans. Uh, were at the Le Bourget airport for so many time. What the message you sent you sent to the fans in France? I think that our goal everybody knows our goal. We want to win all the trophies, all the games. It never changed. And now with Leo we are close to winning, but we want to win more. I think now we need to work and to win each game, to win the trophy. We really, we really need to have discipline and to win every game. As I said, I'm really grateful. I'm grateful to the people in the street. I, I was in Barcelona when the, the press told about that, and I, I've seen things from there, from Spain, and the people was already outside, and it was incredible to see them outside in the streets. And So I'm really grateful, and I want to thank them, and I really want to see them now, to see them in the city, in the stadium so it will be an incredible year and we are going to enjoy all of this good evening Mohamed Wafsi France Television welcome Leo congratulations for this historical transfer there are a lot of questions about around Kylian Mbappé after the arrival of Leo what about the future of Kylian Mbappé then well, I think everybody knows the future of Kylian. People from Paris and the players, he's really a competitive player. He wants to win, he wants to win trophies. He said it in public. He, wants, he wanted a competitive team, and I think we've got the most competitive in the world, so there is no excuse for him now. He can't do anything else but staying. Good evening, uh, FA agency. You've already won for Champions League. What do you need? What does a team need to win the Champions League? It's not easy. Sometimes you can have the best team in the world and you don't win the Champions League. This is football. And sometimes the margins, the details, uh, for some details you can be knockout. Paris knows it perfectly. They've been so close to a victory in Champions League, but they couldn't make it, but it was very close. In this competition, the best teams are playing. It's very difficult to win it. So you, you've, you need a very united squad, a group. This dressing room, for what you can see from outside, 
is very united, but you already you also need the luck. But you can also chase the luck. In Champions League, there is not always the best team wins. It's a very special competition. And that's why it's so beautiful and so important, because they all want to win. We all want to win this competition. Good morning, Leo. Info Sport Plus and Canal Plus. What does PSG represent for you, and how can you bring your experience and president with Leo Messi in PSG? Do you think you are now the favorites, number one for the Champions League? Well, I think this team is already done and ready, and there are some new transfers, but they've been very close to win the Champions, and they are ready. I just come here to help. I'll try to give my best with my illusion, my goal and my dream is to win against again this trophy and I think that Paris is the best place to have a chance to win it again. I think are we favorites or not? I think our team is very good but we never won the Champions League so we need to work. We need to win each game. Last year it was very complicated it's not easy, as Leo said. It's not easy to win the Champions League. We're have, we have focused and we just take one step at a time. We don't hide our goal, our objective. But first of all, we will focus on the league, the Ligue 1. And then after the 15th of September, we'll think about the Champions League. It's maybe easy to say that we are a favorite. That's, of course, our goal. But we just have to remain quiet, and we need to work and work. Hola. Hi, Leo. I'll try to ask in Spanish. Four years ago, when Neymar arrived here, it was quite crazy and now the club be, has got another dimension. Is it uh, one of the reasons you choose Paris Saint-Germain because of the dimension and what the importance of the, the intervention of Neymar in your decision? Was it important to discuss with him? Of course, I've got some friends here in the dressing room. When you see the squad, you really want to play with them because there are so many possibilities to get what you want. We've got the same goals. When we were not together, we had the same goal, and now that we are together with Neymar and the rest of the team, I hope we can make it. Di Maria. Paredes, all these players. I know all the teammates in the dressing room, actually, and we had contact, and, and Neymar, uh, of course, did a lot and, and was important in my election. For Europe, uh, you could play in Champions League against the French uh, squads, but what do you know about French football? Do you know the clubs? It will be a new experience for you. Do you know some of the teams? Do you know the players? And do you know the, the internal rivalries be, between clubs in France? Yes, of course. Of course, I've been following this, and I've got friends. So I know Ligue 1 because of my friends in Paris. I was following their games. And I think it's, this championship has been growing a lot. And Paris has worked a lot for the Ligue 1 growing up because of the transfers and so on. 
And I think the league is more competitive and the, all the teams are getting stronger because they want to win against Paris and want to win the Ligue 1. So it's, it will be a new experience for me. I will have a new, new rivals and new stadiums and I'm very happy to experience all this new atmosphere. Congratulations, Leo, on your signing. I'm happy to see you smile today because it was different in Barcelona a few days ago. What would you say to the inchas, uh, the fans in Barcelona, because they are really sad because of your exit? They don't want uh, Barcelona to play against you in Champions. Would you like to avoid as well such a game? And what would you say to the fans that are very sad today? Of course, it was very complicated to exit Barcelona without knowing where I was going to go. And Barcelona is my home. I've been there since I was a kid. I've, been, uh, I've lived so many things there, good things and bad things. They knew I was going to arrive in a very, very strong team and a team who was aiming to win the Champions League. I love to win. I want to have important goals. I know that my goals and Paris goals are the same and we want to be bigger and bigger. I don't know if we are going to play and to face each other, Barcelona and Paris. It would be very nice to go back to Barcelona. I hope it would be with the fans when it's possible because of the pandemic. It would be very strange to play in, at home there in Barcelona with another shot, but it can happen and we'll see. Good morning, Leo. Good morning, President. Uh, people always think that you, you would never go out of your comfort zone. So, but today we, you're here. You remember this little boy in New Wells in Argentina? What was your dream then? When, President, did you know that all of this could be possible? When did you realize with Leonardo that you could have Messi here in Paris? Of course, there are so many things changing since I was in New Orleans and then in Barcelona. So many things arrived in my life, so many good and bad experiences as a player and as a person. What I can say today is I've, I've got the same will and the same, same enthusiasm than when I was a kid. I still feel like this kid. I, I'm, I'm going to give my best to achieve these goals. Well, between both sides to, uh, to make this happen. And it was true, it was very quick when uh, Liu decided to, to leave Barcelona or, you know, to finish with Barcelona. I mean, you know. The discussion started and it was the desire both sides that we want to sign and we are here. Thank you. Uh, hello, Laura Scott from the BBC. Um, um, for the president, uh, there's a lot of people wondering how you can afford to have um, such an amazing squad and stick within FFP. Can you tell us, please? And to, to Leo. Uh, I wonder how influential that phone call was that you had with Pochettino and, and how much he convinced you to come here and what was said. Well, regarding the financial review, I will just make it very clear. And thank you very much for your question, actually. You know, I was waiting for it, and uh, it's a very great uh, question. For us, always, as we said, you know, we follow the financial fair player regulation from the day one that we started until the end we can have always fulfilled the regulation of the financial fair play. Before we do anything, basically, you know, we look out with our commercial people, with financial people, with legal people. So 
as soon as if you see that we sign in Leo, that means we could we have the capacity to sign him. If not, we're not going to sign him. We're not going to promise something we couldn't, so we know that we could sign him. And I think uh, today, as you can see, I mean, what Leo Port also bringing to the club, it's a huge. And that's, I think, what you as media need also to focus in. It's not just the, only the negative side, let's say, but I think there's a lot of positive he's bringing to the club, and you can see in everything in the term of commercial, in terms of social media. It's amazing, honestly. He's, I mean, you know, a big asset for the club. The club being increased in every single uh, part of the club in terms of commercial. I mean, uh, unbelievable. Three days. I mean, you know, later we'll maybe give you some numbers. You're going to be shocked, honestly, in the, in, the, in the numbers that we have. I hope Lee will not ask for more salary, but, <laughs> you know, it's like, but I think, no, we have really, I mean, fantastic. We, uh, it's true that always we look at financial fair play and always will uh, we'll fulfill the, the financial fair play regulation. Thank you. Bueno, como dije antes, as I said before, the whole dressing room and uh, the technical staff had an influence of, on my decision. When we saw it was possible, the first thing we did was talking to them and to Pochettino because we've been knowing each other for a long time and because we are both Argentinian, it's easier, of course, because we are close in a way. Of course, we talk. We talked and it's been very easy since the very beginning. And I already said that, but I'm going to repeat and the, uh, all the squad and the staff made a lot to help me choose this club. A question for the president here. Good morning and congratulations. Welcome, Leo. This work, after so many years, you will all receive uh, the good things, uh, you in PSG, but also the other teams. How do you picture the good, the positive aspects for the Ligue 1 of this transfer? Today we are talking about PSG, but but I I always work with all the the teams, and I think we work with the championship, and the championship is going to grow because of this. And I hope the broadcasting rights will will be higher because of that. I'm thinking about all the all the parts. Because I think now everybody wants to see PSG games, so it's going to be positive for all the rest of the clubs. I really want to thank the presidents who sent me messages or called me because they wanted to talk about the the arrival of Leo. I think. I think that everybody knows that we're not only working for our club, but also for France and for the Ligue 1. I really want to thank Vincent Labrune as well, because all the clubs, and especially Paris, uh, we receive help from them, and we're, we feel very lucky today because we're here to work and to grow. The work is going to begin today for us, for the other clubs, and for the Ligue and for the city as well, for Paris. I think what we are doing for the club is not only for the club, but also for the city. We all can benefit from this situation. Two last questions. Good morning, President. Welcome, Leo, to Paris. You said a few days ago, Leo, that you really pictured the end of the career, of your career in Barcelona. But I th I'm sure the challenge doesn't scare you now. So maybe the biggest challenge after almost 20 years in Barcelona is a challenge about your life, the change of country, the new language for you and your family. 
Is it your biggest challenge? Yes, that's true. The, the only thing I told Leonardo was I really hoped my family would be at ease in Paris and would feel okay here in Paris, in France. Of course, for me, it's a new experience, but I'm really, I'm really ready for that. I really want to do it. At the end of the day, it's football, and football is the same in, in the whole world. I've got friends here, and that's something that, that's going to make things easier. I'm sure I'm going to get used to my new teammates, and I'm really, really happy. I really want to begin now and, and to begin to train and know my teammates and have contacts with them, with all of them. I really want to train. I want it to begin now. This is new for us, but I'm ready. In the sporting accept aspect and for my family, it's an amazing city, it's beautiful, and I, I'm sure we are going to enjoy this place, so we are quiet and happy. A question for Leonardo, Gazzetta dello Sport. Four years ago, Verratti could have come to Barcelona, and today, four years after that, you meet him here in could it be what Xavi? Of course, Verratti is showing the best play and he's showing how big a player he is. He is. Of course, in Barcelona, they really wanted to have him. And, and today, it's the reverse situation. I'm coming to PSG, so he's an incredible person and he's an incredible player. The phenomenon is spectacular. But not only Marco Verratti, the entire dressing room, these are the best players in the world at all the positions. It's a great squad and I hope I can help and bring my part to achieve the goals, the goals of PSG and my personal goals. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Je vous prie de nous excuser pour. Je vous prie de nous excuser. On n'a pas pu prendre toutes les questions avant de. Sorry, we couldn't take all the questions. Sorry.
quality of point on the, uh, the ultras of Paris Saint-Germain and the atmosphere that there is inside this stadium. We have a lot of new faces, a lot of new eyes on Paris Saint-Germain today, thanks to our new signing, Lionel Messi. You will see when he goes out the passion of the supporters, the passion that's inside this stadium, every home game. It is something very, very special, one of the best atmospheres in all of European football, and you'll see that.
Just like uh, uh, Nicola, uh, Marie, soy Leo. Leo? Leo? ¿Qué Leo? Which one of the Leos I know it's you? Because it must have been a surprise to each of you to receive that call. But then the connection was there. And as you know very well, You, it uses you, it brings you to his side, and uh, just makes you believe in it. And
attends deux minutes et puis je vais... Je vais... Oui, non, je vais sortir d'ici, c'est ce que j'ai dit. Je sors de, de ce milieu parce que c'est tout le monde dans son programme. Ok. Oui, mais à un moment, il faut choisir si c'est le droit de rester pour que ça dirait ou bien pour que j'en vois. Thank you. 